Greetings, Mac Warriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is TTB speaking, and welcome back to German Machineering. Today, guys, we're playing uh, the Marauder 3R. And the people that have been watching on stream already know this build, and it's a really, really nice one that I've come to enjoy quite a bit. It is a Rack 5 Marauder 3R with small laser backup and an AMS system on top to boot. Let's go ahead and have a look at the build. And the build looks a little bit like that. We've got a standard 285 engine as the basis, so this is a little bit slower than most Marauders, but we need that to be able to fit all this stuff in here. We've got four small lasers in the arms for self-defense at close range, and just to amplify a little bit of damage, um, each salvo here will do about 13 damage together, but uh, that's all right. It's a nice pinpoint close range weapon. Uh, we do have AMS in here and AMS ammo in the leg to provide some help for our teammates, a little bit of team support, and then the rest is AMS system, uh, just double heat sinks, and of course our main weapon system System, which is the double rotary AC5. Now here's the thing guys, double rack 5s do a little bit more damage than triple rack 2s, but they are also hotter and they have a little bit less range. So rack 5s are a little bit special, but uh, you should just go ahead and try and use them because they are also a nice weapon system if used correctly. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tons of ammo in total for this weapon system. And the way that this mech is built with the standard engine and no ammo in the left arm or left torso, we can use this to basically tank with the left side. Of course, since this is a Marauder, it is going to be great at just wiggling its nose and spreading damage all over both side torsos. The arms are not that in danger, so arms are not a problem, but side torsos are. And you want to make sure you always wiggle a little bit to get away with the damage and just spread the damage over your CT as well as side torsos. And if you have to take a big hit, take it on the left side, not the right side, because there is where your double rack fives are. This is where you do your damage. And look at the positioning of these weapons, guys. Really, really high up on the mech basically above cockpit height so you can basically hit everything that you can see which is really really nice to have now in terms of armor you just have to lower the head a little bit and the legs a little bit and you should be golden nothing else needs to be adjusted endo steel structure standard armor double heat sinks of course and you're golden Speed, as I already said, a little bit slower than normal Marauders at 61.6 kph, but that's alright. We have enough speed to get where we need to be on the map while not hanging too far behind. And we are definitely a fire support mech here. But yeah, we can charge into a breach and it works. We're quite tanky, but in general, you want to stay with the assaults and you want to amplify damage on big targets if possible. Let's go ahead and have a look at the skill tree. And I went deeply into the firepower tree on the right hand side, enhanced rack and UAC, magazine capacity 1 and 2, and some of the heat gen nodes in here. Then I also went into survival, full survival tree, AMS overload 1 and 2 in here as well. The only thing I'm not taking is the two shock absorbance nodes because, again, they're just for when you're falling down somewhere and you don't need that really, or unless, well, Unless you don't plan for jumping from like skyscrapers or whatnot, which I would not recommend because it wrecks your legs in any case. Okay, nothing in jump jets, of course. Operations, full operations tree. As I already said, the rack fives get a little bit toasty, so you want this mech to be as cool as possible. And then auxiliary, double cool shot, cool shot cooldown, and double Ari strike with enhanced spotting. And that's the build for today, guys. Let's go ahead and take this thing to dropship and see how it performs today. We've had a lot of fun with that thing on live stream already. Some of you might remember TTB's last stand. And if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you head on over to my Twitch channel. Hit that follow button if you haven't done so yet because you are Naughty Carrot. And uh, then just go ahead and have a look at the uh, latest stream there. Uh, should be the, the Monday stream. Uh, we had a lot of fun with the Marauder and there were some great matches there. Definitely worth watching. Okay, let's go ahead and see how this one performs. I'll see you there. Alrighty guys, here we are on our first map on Hibernal Rift and we are slowly walking towards the center to begin the Australian toilet, the rotations, the rotato potato that will be inevitable on this map. It is just designed this way to facilitate a rounding uh, around that uh, middle area time and time again until you get sick and have to open up your cockpit and puke out of said cockpit. Until that time though, however, we're gonna try and find some targets and then shoot at them as much as possible. Now, I have to make a confession here guys, I had two really nice matches recorded, both with 800 to 900 damage each. 
and then I realized I had some wrong recording settings. Uh, it did record my webcam, even though I didn't want it to record me. Uh, the long story short, the content is uh, unusable. So I had to record some new matches. Did I get as good matches as before? No. Not damage-wise, but gameplay-wise, I think those matches are more interesting because uh, there's some cute things happening in both the matches I'm showing today that uh, can teach you some things, and I think that's more valuable than having yet another game where TTB stomps people, even though I like those as well. But if you like TTB stomps people kind of games, as I already said, guys, check out the live stream. Um, we had a match where we did 1,200 damage in this build, in this very build. So, uh, we're pushing around the corner here, we have pushed up through the uh, crashed spaceship area and now I'm gonna try and look for targets in Charlie 3, one kill to one right now, so things are fairly even, we see some targets below, Mad Cat jumping away, taking some shots in the back, trying to hit the Nova here, it's kinda hard to hit uh, jumping targets, but uh, if they are making it easy on you, why not just take the shots? Now. I'm looking at my team right now, and I know if I stay up there, I'm gonna get uh, swamped by the enemy team, so I'm going to support my Blood Asp. The Blood Asp, if it, if it doesn't have me, it's all alone. So, let's go ahead and turn this alone assault into somebody that has a heavy mech as backup. And all of a sudden, all these targets, they see, oh, it's not just one guy down there, it's two now, and then there's a flight mech there, oh, all of a sudden it's three, and the perceived threat of us just goes up, and look what the enemy team does, flee. They run away because they saw one turns into two turns into three it's a swarm it's a murder ball i gotta get out of here even though they could have easily fought back hard against us at this point and really dealt a lot of damage to me and the bladders at the same time we just scared them into a rotator potato and now i'm just gonna stand here in the middle take some pot shots on targets uh, watch my rack fives jam up in a second here come on come on come on okay yeah I'm all jammed up now, I just have my small lasers, this guy's probably too far away. So, I'm not gonna rotate here, I'm going to take the fast way through the middle to go in onto that enemy Hellbringer, hit him from an angle that he's not expecting, and my teammates should be able to finish the deal here any second now. Yep, side torso and gone. Beautiful. Now, it looks like my blood ass buddy is all alone downstairs. Uh, I just saw that he was low signal, so somebody is pushing in on him. There's the Nova down below, he's down. What is it about us? Never mind. It is somebody else in a row to see. He needed some help against that mad cat, and of course, we happily oblige and shoot the mad cat through the back. 10 kills over 2, it looks like our Rotator Potato was uh, much better, our Rotator Kung Fu was much better than the enemy teams. So, uh, just two enemies left on the field to kill here. Now, I would say that's a fairly average mech, uh, match Target in this mech. Destroyed. We didn't have to tank much damage, we didn't get to do much damage, we still have half of our weapons left, so or half of our ammo left. Uh, AMS though went down quite nicely, we only have 400 rounds left, so we shot about 1600 rounds into the air, which means we kept about uh, two, 300 damage at least from teammates, so that's a really good result for one AMS. And now we're just gonna go ahead and find the last target, which is right, Charlie 5. Right. Unfortunately, AFK Negative. for the enemy team, but uh, let's see if we can get in there and get a piece of him. If we can, then we'll take that. This mech excels at trading and suppressing target targets. Spotted. The Daka power of two Rec 5s, it's just creepy. And it's hitting you so hard that you're just gonna run for cover. Speaking about running for cover, this guy's running nowhere because we just killed him. I wasn't the first guy who shot him, I was the guy who made the shots that counted. Haha! <laughs> Alright, let's so have a look at the scoreboard. Two killing blows, eight assists, one solo kill, three kill most damage dealt, 500 damage done, and six components taken out. As I said guys, nothing crazy, just an average match that had a good moment in there where we were able to scare the enemy team away just by supporting teammates, just by not letting our assault go in alone, by supporting him. Very important to do. Okay, jumping to the next match here. It is the uh, same map, but instead of in the winter, we're now in the summer, in the desert. And uh, look at the map, guys. There's two assaults AFK. And we're already one kill behind. So at this point, realistically speaking, and not being a negative Nancy, you know this match is thrown. There's no chance that you're gonna win this. So let's try and be as effective as possible. Let's try and play as well as possible on our own because we already know the team's already whiffed it or the team is bound to lose this one is the proper uh, thing to say here because we're a lot of people down already so let's go ahead find a good position 
and try to engage the enemy and try to make them pay as much as possible. It's a weird thing to say at the beginning of a match. So, enemy Mad Cat coming in, broadening down my assault buddy. We go on his side toe, so immediately do a good amount of damage to him and keep the push on going. Keep being aggressive here. Marek 5 is gonna overheat here, but that's all right. We just took down an enemy assault mech and now we go on to the enemy Hellbringer, deal some good damage to him, follow up with the small lasers, try and take him down together with our buddies. All right, three kills under five. Uh, one of the assaults actually came back. The other one is still AFK. I'm dropping down an artillery strike here on the left-hand corner just to have some kind of defense, some kind of small barrier to keep these lights from swarming my back in two seconds. And uh, as you can see from the hit markers, it's actually working. Three hits, four hits, five hits on the artillery strike. Good artillery strike on my part. Uh, quite lucky there. And now we're just going to go ahead and try and push in behind them to see if there are any assaults or heavies that are slow that we can engage. Unfortunately, there's nothing there. They're so stuck in their potato potato that I didn't find anything. So we have a Timberwolf here, we've got a Dervish here going in on us. So let's go on to the Dervish. Somebody drops in front of me. I stopped firing for a second because I had to verify that it's actually an enemy, not a teammate. Which, in this case, it's an enemy, it's an enemy crab. We're gonna go ahead, do some damage to him, lose all our weapons, lose our CT, and finally die. Well, so, why do I still think this is a good match? Well. We're two assaults and a light mech, I believe, down from the get-go. We still did some good damage and we still were able to make the enemy team pay a little bit. But uh, what I'm writing here is, is very, very uh, important to me, guys. Public service announcement. Especially if you're playing assaults. Please do not play assaults if you're just gonna AFK Lord or stand around forever in the beginning of a match. In assaults, you gotta be on point, guys. So please don't AFK Lord. You need to be the first guys to press W, you are the slowest guys in the field. Okay, nevertheless though, we did some good damage here. One killing blow, two assists, one solo kill, one KMDD, 650 damage done, two components taken out in 3 minutes 35 total battle time. That's absolutely okay, I mean look at the team score. We're fine. Thanks for watching guys, check out my Patreon, I'll see you soon.